What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chum Boys Outdoors and this week I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be making up some uh, fish tacos and I'll be using the crappie fillets that I caught uh, a few weeks back and I'll leave a link in the description down below where you guys can actually watch me catch those fish. And you can see where I caught them, how I caught them, and then now we're about to make them into some tacos here. So, I mean, short intro, figured I'd do something a little different. Try to do kind of everything related to outdoors and start doing some more, some different type stuff instead of just fishing videos, which I'll still do those a lot. But I might just, like every third video or so, I might just throw in something like this or something kind of tackle related, or maybe try to mix some tackle related stuff into my fishing videos too. So. But this week is going to be cooking some crappie tacos, or crappie tacos, but yeah, pretty simple recipe, doesn't take long, only takes an hour. Went and bought all this stuff here, even the seasonings and stuff, and it was only, I think, 26 bucks, so pretty cheap too. Uh, probably take about 45 minutes to an hour to make, because you got the fish is going to take like probably 25 minutes or so. So, I mean, that's the bulk of the time, the fish, and then making up some sauce for it. Uh, but other than that, we should be good to go. Let's get to cooking this. Alrighty, so first thing you're going to do is just take, I'm just going to mix up the seasonings right here to uh, put on the fillets once they're still on thawing a little bit. So uh, I'm just gonna mix these up in this, just any little container. I'm no professional chef, so you guys can make fun of me all you want. But I'm just gonna mix these up to sprinkle over the fish before I throw them in the oven. I'm just gonna bake these uh, crappie fillets is what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and measure these up and get them all in here. All right, so first is a half a tablespoon of ground cumin and guys I'll link all the ingredients down below so you guys don't have to try to follow along with everything I'm putting in here I'll link it all so you can get it all and then watch the video and then follow along so half a teaspoon oh that's, that's a teaspoon need a half a teaspoon And half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This. For one teaspoon of salt. I don't know if I'm doing this up to cooking standards or not but and I've never made this so you guys can definitely try it out I'll let you know how it tastes I'll have my girlfriend try it see how she likes it uh, fourth a teaspoon of black pepper and I'm gonna have to grind this up and then dump it into there so I'll do that here in a minute and then it's just a tablespoon of olive oil that I'll just drizzle over the uh, fillets once they're unthawed and I lay them out. All right, we got our pepper in there. Kind of just stir this all up, <clears throat> shake it up, however you do it. And then uh, I'll take that and I'll sprinkle that over the fillets and then uh, drizzle the olive oil and the butter and everything on them too. Uh, once, that the, once those fillets are unthawed and I lay them out on the baking sheet. Next, we're going to cut all this up, our red cabbage, our red onion, our tomatoes, our avocados, and our limes. And then this we'll kind of just chop up and sprinkle on top whenever they're done. But these are all just kind of the toppings you'll put on top once they're done. So we'll just cut all those up and have them sitting in bowls ready to go. And then over here we'll have, this will be our sauce. We've got some sriracha, some feta cheese, sour cream, some mayo. And then we'll mix that mix that all up and uh, that'll be like our sauce that goes on top of the tacos too. So once this fish here 
is unthawed. It's starting, some pieces are starting to come off now. It's starting to unthaw. But once this is unthawed, then we'll be good to go. All right, guys, we got our crappie fillets all laid out. Uh, they kind of look like trash right now because I was trying to get them to unthaw quickly, so. But anyway, now we're going to take our seasoning and just kind of We now have seasoned flays. So now we need some, and it says to do this on parchment paper, but I didn't have any and I feel like going back to the store again. So I'm gonna try it on aluminum foil, see if it works and you guys can do it if it works. And the recipe I'm following is for like bigger size tilapia flays. And it says to cook for 25 minutes. So we're probably gonna back off on that. I'm kind of just going to watch it and then at the end I will tell you guys or after after they're done cooking I'll kind of tell you guys uh what time I cooked them for and stuff so that way you guys know you guys don't have to guess I'll do it for you and then you guys will know how long to cook them so just kind of drip it on on oh that one's a little heavy And kind of drip it around all right so now we got our olive oil on there <clears throat> now you want to take a little bit of butter and put a little piece of butter on top of each one Just like that. A little bit of butter on each one. I don't know why I used a fork. Just the first thing I grabbed. Now you want to preheat the oven to 375. All right, guys, we're going to mix up our uh, the sauce here that's going to go on top. So <clears throat> we need to combine all these in this bowl, not the cheese. That's going to go on top. A third cup of mayo. Oh, barely fits in there. It's about... third cup of mayo third cup of mayo in there now we need uh two tablespoons of lime juice but i'm just going to cut a lime and just squeeze the whole lime in there just a whole small lime in teaspoon of the sriracha sauce or sriracha mayo i guess is what i'm going to use here should work fine. Put a little more because there's a lot stuck in the little cup here. A little teaspoon there. So we got that in. One teaspoon of the garlic powder here. I just forgot, I just threw in a half a cup of sour cream too. Throw in that sour cream and then mix it all up. After you add all the other ones and mix it, add this in there. And this will be our 
what we top our tacos with the sauce and you could throw in uh, as much sriracha as you want probably want I don't know if this is actually the sriracha sauce or mayo but I mean it should still work but you can just add that to taste kind of taste it if you want and add more I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer for 15 minutes at 375 and then we'll check them and see how they are <clears throat> All right, guys, again, not a chef. So I know I'm probably doing a lot of stuff wrong and not doing it the right way or whatever, but I'm just showing you guys, just thought it'd be cool to show you guys a different way that you can eat your crappie. I know everybody probably loves it fried. I love it fried, but you know, I was, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna make a new dinner. I remembered I had those crappie fillets in there. So I was like, man, I'll make some fish tacos with those and see how they turn out. So here we are, I thought I'd share it with you guys. And yeah, let's get to chopping up these veggies. Alrighty, there's our tomatoes that we're gonna be throwing on top. our red onions throw those on top as well set those to the side guys so we just got our avocados in here all cut up that we'll put on top as well there we go lime wedges squeeze these babies on top of your tacos when you're done or after you made your whole taco squeeze that on top a little bit okay now for this big purple dude I'm not really sure about this guy I've never cut one of these up but we're gonna get a bigger knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Not really sure what I'm doing. So. the red red cabbage purple cabbage I forget what it is I think it's red I think it's a red cabbage but there we go and then we have our cilantro that I probably won't do anything now I'll just kind of uh, sprinkle a little on top whenever I uh, make my tacos crumbled feta cheese sprinkling that on top as well all right guys I got I think everything cut up ready to go just wait on our fish here we got 20 seconds left Let's see how it's looking oh, looking pretty good it's probably not quite don't look quite done yet though so we're gonna give it another uh, I'm going to put it on for another five minutes. Then it should be done after this five minutes. I got the uh, little soft tor flour tortillas here. And we're just going to get this kind of hot, about medium high heat, and just throw them on there for a minute. And just uh, do probably about ten of them or so. And then... Our fish is done. Looks done. I just checked it a minute ago, so it should be all the way done. There's our fish. Shut that up. 
let that cool down for a minute while we, while we do our tortilla shells here real quick and then we will be eating fish tacos. finished product. <sighs> Gotta have Lex try it. There right, we go. You always get me when I'm looking at the trash. I'll try to buy it first. Good? That's good. It's really good. Alrighty. Mmm. That is so good. You like it? Uh-huh. Told you. Now let's go catch some fish. I like to catch fish now. <laughs> Alright guys, all that's left are some crumbs. That was pretty tasty. So, if you guys enjoyed this little uh, cooking deal here go ahead hit that like button for me and go ahead and give, give me a little bit of feedback down below leave me a comment uh, let me know if you guys like this different kind of stuff I know it wasn't I mean it is outdoor related because I cook crappie but I mean, it's just another way to show you guys how you can cook crappie up instead of just frying it all the time so uh, yeah I mean it was, it was pretty good My girlfriend liked it so brownie points for me and now I get to clean it all up but other than that we are done here guys I will see you next week